Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name's Tom with Masked Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to limit users to one username per an email address. Now, the, the default um, authentication system for Django allows for uh, a un one unique username. So that means you can have one username. You can't, you can't have two of the same username. Um, but the emails, you get multiple same emails, but you must have different um, usernames. Now, a couple of weeks ago, on when we launched the new Master Code Online website, we had a user sign up with seven different uh, usernames, but the same email address. Now, why this user did it, I don't know, but it's you know it shouldn't happen. We should only have one email per one username. So. There's something I didn't think of when we we're writing out the um, authentication sign up. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. But in today's tutorial, I'm not going to go through and show you guys the whole process of making a sign up form and all that stuff. That's going to be for a later tutorial. This is right here. What we have right here is the sign up, the previous sign up form or sign up view, I should say, for uh, mastercode.online. All right. So basically what happens with this sign up view is we go, user signs up and then we um, get and send a token or a, a, a activation token to their email. They click on that um, unique URL and they come back to our site. And at that time they are then validated saying, hey, their email address is correct. And then we allow them to sign in. All right. That's how this works. And I'll show you guys in a future tutorial how to set all this up. So don't focus too much on that. But what I want to cover today is, like I said, is eliminate the user to one email address. And this will go for any sign up authentication that you have on your um, on your Django project. Now, there's two different ways to approach it. So one is via the view. The other is um, via the model. Now, if we wanted to do it in the model, we'd have to subclass the authentication model and make the email unique. Now that's a lot of work and I mean, I don't like to work hard. So I think the easiest method here to fix this would be to check it in the view, even though you probably should do most of your code in the models, um, but we're going to check it in the view. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this all works out. First, we're going to check if the email exists. How do we do that? Well, we're going to come down and say, um, right about here, right after, well, no, not right there. Uh, let's see, right here after the user. Um, yeah, after the user commit false, we're going to go ahead and in here and say, if not user.objects.filter, oops, filter. Uh, email dot or email is equal to user dot email and then we're going to say exist like that all right so basically this if statement is checking if the email that the user is passing through our sign up form if it exists in the system now if it exists um, if it doesn't exist then we're going to allow them to continue with the sign up process which First, we set the user to um, active is false, and then we save the user. And then we, then uh, like I said, we're sending them a unique token that um, verifies it via email, and then they click on it and they come to our site, and we say, "Hey, yeah, they they did pass the correct email." All right. So uh, if the email does not exist, we're going to allow them to do all that stuff there. All right. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to come down and move this code block over so it's under the if statement. Now, <clears throat> now if the user's uh, email does exist, I want to return a message to them, basically telling them, hey, this email already exists in our system. Go ahead and sign in or reset your password. All right. So because most likely the user can't remember their password or they forgot they signed up to the website, what have you. So what we're going to do is use uh, Django messages. So what what we'll do is come up here and import Django messages. So from Django dot uh, contrib. Couldn't remember what it was. Import messages. All right. 
So now we're going to come down here and we'll throw in an else statement under this return and say else. And in this else statement is where we're going to pass in our uh, messages. So we'll do messages dot error. And then we'll say uh, request. And we'll just say this email exists. Oops, exists in our system please log in or if you forgot your password please reset all right so um that is all so basically that's that is the easiest simple solution. So let's just review what happens here. Um, basically, we're getting the user's info by um, using an instance, and we're creating that inst or naming that instance user. And then we come in and say, if not user objects filter email user. All right, user here dot email because one of the fields in the user model, the default user model, is email. Uh, we check if it exists in our system. So basically, we're going through all the users. If the email does not exist we will let them to go ahead and uh, finish their sign up process. All right. If it does exist, we're going to return a message, uh, error message, basically saying, Hey, this email doesn't, this email exists in our system. Please sign in or reset your password. And like I said, in the beginning of the video, um, it would be way too much work for me to go through and show you exactly what's going on. But on our website at mastercode.online, we do have the template to show you how to set up the uh, messages in um, the, the template and you guys will see how that all works. Now, if you have any questions, please let us know at mastercode.online. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial where we teach you something cool about Django.